Right, so I started from the second round. Um, first round was basically, you know, me and him going back and forth. So you see more of that in here. Um, this is one of the knockout, my knockdown rounds, and that's the reason why I, I just skipped over to the first round. Um, you know, I really came out aggressive against him. I heard a couple of times that he was looking to fight me. He was eager to fight me and spar. So, you know, I just wanted to see what he was all about. Um, I don't know if this is the first or second time I fought him. I know I've been drunk a couple of times, and I can't remember sometimes. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, that's a good drinking day. But, you know, you work hard, you party hard, right, guys? <laughs> But uh, as you can see, um, I, I'm always coming for it. Y'all know me as a coming for it kind of guy. Um, sometimes I, I will hang back just to, you know, just get a better perspective of uh, of, of, of what I'm doing and, and how I should be fighting. Um, you know, um, just watching a lot of you guys' fights, I've seen, you know, you know, I got I to gotta pay more attention to the body, which, I, which I'm starting to do, and I'm starting to see the benefits of, of, of up and down, up and down, instead of just up all the time or just down all the time. Um, I know you guys are probably like, well, that's the simplest thing in the world, but, you know, putting it into your actual game fight is, is a lot more difficult than what people may think sometimes. I mean, look at that. I mean, just love that. Stunned them, went on a full attack. Um, he hung on for a little bit, but, you know, I, I, I'm pretty good at finishing, you know what I mean? I like I like this. This is my my style of fight. This guy came out, didn't really run. I mean, he, he, he backed off because of the pressure I was putting on him, but it's all good. So here goes the last round, guys, fifth round. Um, skipped over the fourth. Um, you know, fourth was pretty much the same thing with me and going back and forth. I don't caught my rhythm down and... I see that he, I mean, he has really good weapons, you know, I mean, he uses that, uh, that left uppercut really good, um, you know, and, and that jab, he has a nice jab and, and that straight, um, but of course, like I said, you know, I got to keep putting the pressure on him, you know, he's going to fall, I know he's going to fall, I know that he's like equipped you know, to really handle this kind of pressure from me. I mean, he's never, I don't know if he's, like I said, I don't know if this is the first or second fight, but, I mean, I, you know, I, I think I sometimes I, I just bulldog a motherfucker, you know, I bully them in the ring. I, you know, I like those type of fights, you know, sometimes those make the best fights. I managed to beat some of the greatest guys because of that style of fighting, you know what I mean? And and, and that's my style of fighting. That's I'm an aggressive motherfucker. I will always come forward. Um... It is what it is, you know. So I stunned him, put him down, and that's the end of it, guys. Couldn't get back up after that. What up, guys? Um, me and Espana Armada had a really good um, sparring session. Uh, ended in the fifth round uh, with me KOing him. Um, dude's a pretty good fighter. Try to stay on the inside with me. Um, I'm going to link the rest of these videos all together into one big video and post it. Because the stats. Um, we both hit 51% of our shots. Um, I threw a little bit more, but I had a, you know, better, like, I, I'm, I'm assuming I had better um, stamina uh, get back because I was still fresh and, you know, just landing some really good hits on them. Um, I'll let you guys watch the fight and y'all be the deciding factor of that.